Yahoo YouTube. I am Super Yankee, and in today's thought of the day, I just want to talk about gratitude. Today I woke up at six o'clock in the morning, and you know I pushed that snooze button on my alarm. But for some reason, for some good reason, the old habit of oversleeping wasn't enough to make me forget about how grateful I was to get the opportunity to wake up and get to work. And at 6.05 when my second alarm came off, I got up out of bed and got straight to work and my day has been absolutely phenomenal because of it. And it got me thinking about this, about this, this thought of gratitude, you know. How can I help other people feel the way I'm feeling right now? How can I help other people see gratitude as a treasure the way that I see it as a treasure? And that's what I want to talk about in this video because I think a lot of us tend to think that the best things in life, the best parts of life are on the other side of the fence. You know, the water is always greener, <laughs> not the water, the grass is greener on the other side of the fence. But what I've realized in my travels around the world is that the grass is not greener on the other side of the fence. The grass is simply green where you choose to water the grass. And that can be where you are today. That can be in your hometown. That can be with your friends or in your class or in your school, wherever you want. And I think it's such an amazing opportunity to have to really feel grateful about life. You know, these are some of the notes that I took today during stream, and I think that in the future I'm going to start referring to my notes in these videos so I can stay more on topic, you know, because there are many different treasures in life. And, you know, there are so many different treasures in life that if we don't identify what we want to feel, we're just going to look to what everyone else is seeing as the treasure. And, you know, Captain Jack Sparrow just posted an update on bubblegumpositivity.com. Phenomenal blog post. You also go read it after this video or whenever you have the chance. Captain Jack Sparrow says, silver and gold isn't the only treasure there is. How does he say it? Basically, I'm paraphrasing now. He says, silver and gold aren't the only treasures in life, mate. And I think that we've been trained to see money as one of the biggest treasures in life. And that's why we're spent, we spend a lot of our time chasing after it. But I think that if you don't identify what you want in your life, then what you want in your life is going to become the default of what everyone else is chasing after. So I would like to ask you this question. What are you grateful for? What are you really happy that you have right now where you're at? I'm not talking about the future. I'm not talking about the past. In the present, what are you grateful for? Because gratefulness, in my perception, is probably one of the first steps to being happy with what you have, to being happy in life. And we don't want to leave happiness to chance. We don't want to make it random. If we don't know what we're grateful for, the chances of happiness becoming much more random are greatly, greatly, greatly increased. So, yeah guys, leave a comment. Tell me about that stuff because I want to make this an interactive kind of process, you know? I focus on this stuff every day. I spent like two hours today just honing in on gratefulness and all my Instagram posts, all my, my blog posts that I was able to do today, be able to bring you guys some content, this wind that's blowing my stuff over. I'm grateful for it all. The fact that it's a little sunny outside so I can stream with in short sleeves. I'm grateful for that too because I love being in short sleeves and like short pants, although I'm wearing pants right now because I had to go to work today. Guys, talk to me about it. I'm so interested in hearing your responses. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Likes really help me out and would make me more grateful for the work I'm doing, although I still am grateful that you're even watching the video. Leave a comment. I want to hear about what you're grateful for, some questions you have about how to get gratitude into your life. Share this video with your friends because we need to get the good word of positive thinking out there to as many people as possible. And just keep coming back. Even if you don't do any of the other things, all I would say is just keep coming back. Because positivity, the road to self-improvement, is a lot longer than we've been taught to see it as. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. 
Thanks for watching. Bye bye.